A local man has died from what appears to be complications from the West Nile virus. CBS 2's Car Finstrom is live in Shadow Hills where he lived. So, Car, you just talked to his family. I spoke with his husband, who isn't ready yet to speak on camera. He talked with us by phone. Uh, he believes his husband was bitten near their home here. We also spoke with Vector Control. They say they have been focusing on the San Fernando Valley. It's been a hot spot for mosquitoes. I don't know what to say. Rob took care of everybody. Scott Montgomery is grieving the loss of his husband. Robert Johnson slipped away from him and their two boys Saturday after a month long fight for his life. I thought he had a stroke. That's why I took him to the hospital. Johnson started having flu like symptoms on Labor Day weekend. Four days later, his fever spiked. Within a week of that, he was on life support. Doctors told Montgomery Johnson had contracted the West Nile virus. Health experts say it's passed by infected mosquitoes, and Johnson had one of the rare cases where the disease progressed to a swelling of the brain. Montgomery says he went into a coma, and his heart stopped. I was a very healthy person, 53 years old. We hike on the weekend. He swims in the swimming pool every weekend. Johnson was a well-known public defender who focused on those facing the death penalty. Last year, L.A. County recognized him as a person of the year for his volunteer work and humanity. His colleagues are remembering him for advocating with grace. Defending the rights of those who have no defenders. That's what was important to Rob. But Montgomery struggles most with the years his sons now won't have with their dad. Johnson made them breakfast in the mornings and read to them at night. The best thing we ever did was adopt our boy. And he was truly, truly the best dad that you could have. And Montgomery stresses that he and his boys could have been bitten by those same mosquitoes, but not had that rare complication, uh, which, again, happens only in very rare cases. Some of the things can put you at greater risk, Sharon, are being over the age of 50 and also having an underlying health condition, which he says his husband did not. So terribly sad.